real me, I swear you gotta feel me Before they try and kill me, they gotta make some choices They running out of options, cause I've been going off And they don't know when it's still the trap No, the trash me is really still the real me I swear you gotta feel me, before they try and kill me They gotta make some choices, they running out of options Cause I've been going off, and they don't know when it's still the trap Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a, like a mini one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to be doing like a mini one-on-one -on -one with one of my friends today. So this video is starring Dom. Hey Dom, everybody say what's up to Dom. So today I'm going to be installing a 24-inch lace frontal wig. This is, this is not even HJ. This is transparent lace from Tina Shea hair. So I'm going to be installing that today with some nice crimps. We're not going to be doing the funky crimps. No, these are going to be the classy cute crimps. So here I just went ahead and bleach and pluck the knots and then i'm gonna begin to cut off the air tabs y'all know how it go like y'all for those who've been rocking with me y'all know how this little thing go for those who are new welcome to my channel i have ample videos showing you guys how did how did i get here because boy did i i upgraded from where i started to where i am now so now i'm just going in with some makeup this is fit me by oh my god i forgot the name of it i'm gonna put it in the description box but I'm going ahead. This is matches my complexion and her complexion. We are like the same color. I'm going to go ahead, put it on the lace, apply it to her cap after I did her cap method and everything. And then we're going to get started with this bomb, like, you know, tutorial. So this video is about two months old. I'm sorry for the delay in videos. As you guys know, I am back to work. And it's just been a hassle. It's been so hard to keep up with the videos and work at the same time because I've been working almost seven days a week, you know, and I be in the shop. I be slaying. So, like, I'm going to try my best now because I'm, I'm not going to be working on Mondays anymore. I'm going to try my best now to just, you know, get at least two days out of the week just to upload videos just for you guys. So I do apologize for the hold up and the wait. And I'm going to make up for it. I promise I have, like, seven videos. I just ain't dropped them yet. I didn't edit them yet, and I ain't dropped them yet. But I have videos on videos. Oh, that's Iman. Say hey, Iman. So for those of you who don't know what's going on right here, after you get the wig bleached and plucked and, you know, almost finished with the process of customizing, you want to go ahead and pull it completely up to where you want it to be glued on your client's head. And then begin to cut around the ear. Please be very careful. You will snip somebody's ear if you're not paying attention or being very careful. Or even if you're doing this on yourself, please just be very careful. So after you customize it and you make sure it fits very comfortably over your client's ear, you're going to go ahead um, with some alcohol. I use from 70 to 99% alcohol. And I use also my Boho Skin Protectant. You want to go ahead and thoroughly clean the skin on where, of where you're going to be applying the glue. Because, honey, if you just go ahead and slap some glue after you done rubbed up makeup on that cap and this person done was sweating or you was done sweating down the place, it's going to lift, slide, cha-cha to the left. You understand? So please make sure you clean the area very well with alcohol and skin protectant. This will help the glue to last as long as possible, okay? Okay, so here now I'm just going in with some of my Boho Active. You know, this glue is actually really good. Like, I underestimated the power of this glue. And this glue is the Sugar Honey Iced Tea, all right? So you're going to go in with three to four, or you can even do up to six. But make sure they're very thin. So three to four super thin layers. Super thin. I cannot stress this enough. If it is too thick it's it's not going to last long. It's not going to stick properly. And you have to make sure it's not white. Make sure it dries completely clear. So you want to make sure. You see how it looks like I didn't. Look, look, this look. You see how it looks like I didn't put nothing on the right side? That is how you want it to look when you're done smoothing it all the way out.
So now you want to go ahead and fan it until it's completely clear. You want to fan it dry until it's completely clear. If it happens to be some spots where it's like still white, only in the back, like not to the front part of, you know, where the baby hairs would be, only towards the back of the cap. If there's some white parts over there, you know, that's fine. Like, you could get a pass with that. As long as it's just not on the front where you see me combing, as long as there's no white spots right where you're going to exactly lay the glue where the baby hairs is going to be, yeah, you're fine. You don't got to worry about that. So now I'm going to go in with my elastic band, and we're going to set in. It's funny because, you see, after I done tied this up, gave her her middle part and everything, because we do the middle part today, as you see by the cover. But after I done tied all of this up, we went to, I think we went to Planet Wings, and we got some wings. We ended up on an hour-long journey, and let me tell you, her lace was melted to a T, okay? Melted to a T. So, yeah, just watch. You don't want to leave the band on for too long, though, because it can give you, like, a headache or start to hurt your ears. But I didn't tie it too tight, so she good, she good, she want her head to look good, she good. But normally, you can leave the band on, especially if you're not going to the dryer, for, like, 25 to 35 minutes, just to make sure you have the proper hold and your lace is, like I said, melted to a T. So here now, what I like to do is, while the lace is being melted to that T, you, you feel me? You want to go ahead and begin to part out the hair in any style that you're going to do. And then you're going to proceed to hot comb in and flat iron it. You know, it kills the time and it makes things go by a little faster. I'm now going in with my She Is Bomb wax stick. I love She Is Bomb collection. I, I think she made it just for me. I'm not even going to lie. You guys need to go check that out. But I'm going to list all the products and all of the, you know supplies and everything everything all right everything that i used in this video i'm going to drop links anything y'all want to know you know feel free to hit up my comment section i'm going to be taking out my time to answer everybody so just you know i'm going to list anything everything and anything that you feel like i forgot just let me know As you guys begin to learn me and see more and more day by day, video by video, I'm a perfectionist. Like, if you don't look good, you're not leaving my chair. Like, let me tell you something. Make sure you, when you come to get your hair done, you have nothing to do that day because I'm going to take my time and ensure that, A, you don't have to come back too fast, and B, you got to come back because it's like, damn, now this girl just slayed my hair. Like, I like to make sure everything looks perfect. Perfect. Even if it's not super duper perfect, it has to be damn near perfect. Or you, you're not leaving, period. That's just that. I mean, what's a good hairstylist that's if she not going to make sure you look good or he not going to make sure you look good, right? All right. So just sit back, relax, and get your hair done. And please do not rush your stylist because rush results never look good. And then you're going to be mad and going on Yelp, doing a rant, telling everybody that your hair didn't look good because you no. Take your time, sit down, relax, and let your stylist do them. And let them know not to rush and take their time and just do your hair because you have nothing to do. Even with yourself, rush, rushed results never look good. Keep that in the back, in the front, the side, the left, and the right of your mind. Let's teach. What are we doing? So now we're back from our little food break. And for this part, some people like to use a razor blade. I try using the razor blade. I don't know. For some reason, it doesn't work out good for me. I have to probably really get into detail with it and sit there and actually, you know, seriously go like, all right, Sammy, let's try this. Do it like, do it like this. But for right now, I rather the scissors technique, and you just want to go ahead and cut in a zigzag motion if you feel my pain. And you understand that the razor blade just doesn't work out very well for you. And remember, any pieces that you know didn't get to be glued, you can either cut it off 
or go ahead and just put some glue under it and you don't have to repeat the whole elastic band step for that part just go ahead and make sure you put some glue under it the pieces that you miss and just tack it back down with the back of your rat tail comb or the tail of the rat tail comb and blow dry it on a low warm heat Look at the flawless results of it with no baby hairs. So just imagine when I give my girl her baby hairs. So you want to go ahead and part out a thin section for the baby hairs. Remember what I tell y'all, please. Nothing too drastic. Even if it's going to be dramatic, I didn't see some cute, thin, dramatic baby hairs. The key is to be thin and nice and just at least look a little natural. Like, we already know it's not your real hair. Like, why you want to make it obvious, you know? So you want to go ahead and part out your sections for the baby hair. Um, sometimes I'll do it like this, how you see me doing now, or I'll part out directly where I want them to go. So like I'll part out one piece here and then one piece there. If you know what I mean, I hope I'm explaining this the best way I can. But now we're going to proceed to the other steps. Okay, so I lost count of how many steps we at now, but I just know at this point, you want to go ahead and spray the edges and where you parted out with some freeze blast spray or your favorite holding spray, and then you're going to go ahead and hot comb everything back. Now you're getting, this is for the final meow, all right, the meow, yes, the meow, this is for the final meow, down, all right, I cannot stress this enough. This technique gets it every single time. If you want that fresh perm, look, look. If you want that fresh perm, fresh out of the Dominicans, getting your hair washed and, you know, set, you want to go ahead, spray your favorite holding spray, and hot comb everything as you see I'm doing here. And then you're going to go in and tie it down with your elastic band and proceed to the next set of steps you're going to see here. Listen up. Make sure you guys are paying attention because class is in session. You know what I like about my YouTube videos? They're pretty self-explanatory, so it's like I don't have to talk too much because I know when I'm watching other people's YouTube videos, I don't really like to hear too much talking because it's like, girl, I see what you're doing. Like, why are you, you know? But then there's people that like to hear it, so I'm going to just keep it mutual. I'm going to talk at the points where I feel I need to explain, and the things that are pretty self-explanatory, I'm not going to really explain. I hope you guys don't mind. So when crimping or curling hair, you want to make sure you always straighten it for the best results. You don't even have to give it a bone straightening straight. As long as you just run the iron through it and you get them super crinkly waves out, that's fine. Because if you just try to go ahead and crimp it or curl it with them with it while it's poofy, it, you're not going to get the best sleek results. It's going to look a hot mess, literally a hot mess. So make sure you go ahead and run your flat iron through it a couple times until you see it's a little straight or like just, just, just the right amount of straightness. Like you're going to see. And then you want to proceed to your crimping, your curling, whatever you want to do. So I'm taking my favorite tweezers that I lost in Dom's house. Let's let's all blame Dom, everybody. Now, but for real, though, I lost my tweezers. These are my favorite tweezers. But I'm going in and I'm just thinning out the hair that I parted out for baby hairs. You want to go ahead and make sure you thin those out. You don't want it too thick. Like, do exactly how you see I'm doing right here. And then we're going to proceed to the next step, the Oh, this is my favorite part of doing hair. When I get to this step, I just know, like, all right, I'm finished. Next client, it's lit. This client's about to be happy, and I know they're coming back for a fact.
So now I'm going in with one of my second favorite products, which is the Slick and Slay Gel. And this stuff is amazing, you guys. I'm telling you, just go over to her website and check out everything. She is Bomb Collection. I'm going to drop the link below. Check everything out. You're going to love it. So now I need you guys to just play to pay close attention. Don't play because, you know, this is serious, but pay close attention to how i do these baby hairs let me tell you something watch me wipe and sweep them effortlessly remember to cut the pieces that you parted out into these nice little mini bangs nothing super super mini but just mini enough where the swoop is on point as you see here so sit back and just pay attention As I'm doing the voiceover, I just caught myself going into a daze. Like, wow, this is really amazing. But boom, here we are. Look at that. Flawless, flawless, flawless baby hairs. All if you just follow my steps and do exactly what you see me doing here. Yo, don't mind her. Nothing is wrong with her. She just does these crazy faces. Dom, is, she's just a crazy friend, all right? Yes. But yes, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same things that I did on side A to side B. So you could go ahead and watch. I hope you guys got it and got the hang of it. I just flipped the camera. Don't worry. I flipped the camera. So that's why it looks like I'm doing the same side all over again. But it's not. It's really the opposite side from the side that I just did. If you catch what I'm saying. Just look at the arm the tattoo is on. It keeps flipping because uh, my camera, uh, it was just acting crazy. Remember, guys, practice makes perfect. You have to start from somewhere to reach somewhere you understand what i'm saying so even if you have to play this video over ten thousand times just to understand this part no matter how good you think you are or no matter how good you are period it's okay everybody is allowed to inspire somebody like you you must be inspired by someone you understand what i'm saying so you can go ahead and re-watch this video until you get it but just as long as you get it that's all that matters as long as you get it and you like it and your future clients love it or whoever you're practicing on loves it that's all that matters so here we have the final look on the baby hairs. Does it not look like a fresh perm or a fresh wash and set? Oh my god. That was just... I love this wig. Shout out to Tina Shea here once again. So here I have... I am now providing silk scarves and bonnets. I am sorry you guys for not letting you guys know when I had first got them. They are, yes, right now sold out. I will be getting more and I'm going to let you guys know as soon as I get them so you guys can go ahead and be able to purchase them. Yes, it is silk mixed with satin scarves and bonnets. They are amazing. They have my cute little logo on them and they're gold. Yes, um, shout outs to my vendor, shout outs to my logo maker and... Shout out to everybody who bought one, you know, represent. I'm so happy, but I'm going to make sure I get enough for you guys on YouTube as well. Because you are my family too. But now, here we are proceeding to the crimping. This is the final stage of Slate. Well, second to last, because y'all know I like to go over everything with my hot comb. But um, I don't remember where I got this crimp iron from. Well, my cousin gave it to me. I don't know what is the name of it. Everything is all erased and rubbed off. I'm going to try to Google it and find it. But I didn't really show this part step for step. I'm just showing you guys how I did the basics. And then I'm going to just zoom through this whole thing. Because crimping literally takes two and a half hours. And then the longer the hair, the longer you're going to be crimping for. So just watch. I am going to let you guys know this. With crimping, 
you have to part row by row, piece by piece, section by section. They can't be too big and they can't be too small because, well, if they're too small, they're going to be like super full and puffy. But you just want to part out a good amount of piece, like probably like an inch or an inch and a half big, but not nothing too big because it won't crimp correctly and you're not going to like the results that you end up with. So you want to make sure you go row by row, piece by piece. So this is how it should look when you get halfway through it. Just the right amount of bounce and fluffiness. So when you spray in the freeze blast spray before you crimp the hair, you don't want to spray too much. Just spray a little bit because if you spray too much, it's going to be real thick and it's just not going to look nice. It's going to look super stiff when you're done crimping. So I want you guys to just pay attention to the scalp effect you guys are getting here it's oh my god it's amazing it's all how you bleach i do use bw2 and 40 volume developer and i leave it on for about 30 minutes 25 minutes depending on how good the lace is this one i actually left on for about 25 minutes so yeah Now I'm just going in with my hot comb and smoothing out the top just to make sure the crimps don't look too sharp up there. I don't like when the crimps look too sharp. So I like to go in with my hot comb and just comb it down and smooth it out of it. And with the help of my beautiful edge wrap, boom, look at that. Look at the amazing meltdown i know it looks a little ashy but that's honestly just the light i promise it does not look like that in person it did not look like that in person it's just the light sometimes the light could give the lace an effect to look a little lighter than it seems but trust me it's it's perfect because when she turns her head to the side to that side everything looks good now I'm going in with a rat tail comb and the high beam intense spray to define my part and then you want to go in with any concealer that matches you or your client just to define that part a little bit more to give it that extra pop So here are the final results you guys once again big shout outs to Tina Shea here I'm sorry for the delay I hope you guys love this video don't forget to comment like subscribe and share and let me know what was your favorite part and stay tuned for more content don't forget to hit that bell see you yes Ooh, shake it mm-hmm oh boy <laughs> They got a good mm -hmm. nail soon, do Don't worry about that. Okay. And we're.